Hello and welcome to the second part of video 4 of our course on mobile data collection using the Kubo Toolbox. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. In our last video, we began the designing of a sample questionnaire on the adverse events following immunization using the Kobo Toolbox XLS form builder. In this video, we will continue designing the form from where we left off. Please pause at this point and download the resource files used throughout this video from the comment section below. That said, let's get to business. I have here displayed on my screen two Excel workbooks. On the top is the AP Guider help file, which is a modified XLS form to enable you build your forms easily. Below is our questionnaire, which I have transformed into an Excel file with questions and hints translated into French. I have also added a few more questions which you might not find on the original questionnaire. This is to enable me to show you some exciting features that come with the Kobo Toolbox package. At this point, let's proceed to designing our form. Although this is not a must, I would strongly recommend you have a working file like this Excel file displayed before you start designing your form. This will enable you to save much time and minimize the possibility of errors. As you can see, this is basically our questionnaire which I have transformed. Since we are using two languages, I also have the French translation to each question and question hint. I have also put questions under their corresponding categories. For example, questions relating to the patient's identification information are under the category patient identifier. In the list sheet, I have typed in the choices for questions that require you to select an answer from a drop-down list. At this point, I will go ahead and copy the questions and paste in our AP Guider help file, and then together, we will add the question type for each question. That way, things will become clearer. Here we are in the AP Guider help file with our questions pasted. Ensure that your questions are pasted in the right column. Our first question is a welcome note. Our question type is thus a note. Under the type column, therefore, we type in note. To avoid any syntax errors, I will copy from the question type worksheet and paste accordingly. I will do the same for the other questions. Note that at this point we are about to begin a group where our questions under the patient identifier will fall. So to do that, I go to question types, I copy begin group, come back here, and I paste here. Next question is the patient's name, that is a text, address, text, telephone number. I will put the telephone number as a text instead of an integer. I will explain why I chose text when we go to adding some more stuff to our forms. So the next question is date of birth, which is a date. Next is age, which is an integer. At this point, we have H units. And if you remember, this is a question which you have to select the options from a drop down list. So I go to question types and I will select, select one. At this point, we have to put in our choices. So I will change the list to and give it a list name of age units. I 
I will now copy the H units. I go to our choices tab and I paste here. Remember the choices under the H units are years, months, and days in English and année, mois, et jour in French. So I will copy this. Go back to my choices and I paste here. Then since our choices take up three rows, I make sure the H units cover three rows. Then under the name, I can type in one, two, and three. This is what will appear in our database when we enter in. So the data collector will, say, will select either years, months, or days, but in our database, one, two, and three will appear as the answers. Similarly, each group is a select one question. So I'll change the list name to each group. I go here, copy the answers for each group, go to my choices, paste here, make sure the list name is exactly what is here. Then I can also give one, two, and three. So at this point, we are done with the group patient identifier. So we insert a line here, and then we end the group. So we now have to begin a new group for the reporter details. So begin group, reporter name is text, institution is text, designation text, department a text, address a text, telephone number text, email is a text, date of notification a date, and today's date a date. So we are also done with the reported details, and then we end the group. Before we move over to configuring the details of vaccination section, I realized I missed out the question on sex. So let's go ahead and add it. So I insert the line here. It's going to be a select one question. Set my list name to sex. Go to my work file. Copy this and I paste here. All good. So let's go back to our details of vaccination section. So here, begin group. Name of facility is a text. The number of vaccines is an integer. Name of vaccine, a text. Date vaccine a date, time of vaccination time, dose select one. This name is dose, so I copy those. Go to my choices, paste here. Come to my list, copy this. Go back to my choices, paste here. Make sure the number of rows are equal. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great. Batch or lot number is a text. Expiry date is a date. Name of diluent is a text. Batch number, text. Expiry date is a date. Date and time of reconstitution is a date time question type. So copy date time and I paste here. So again, we are done with this group, so I end group. 
The next section is the adverse events section. We start with begin group. The adverse events question allows for the selection of multiple choices. I set my question type to select multiple and list name to adverse events. Next, specify, which is a text, date, time, text. The serious question is a yes no question. So we type in select one, yes no. Go to my choices. Select one severity Text select Date select one, yes, no, no. X We are done with group so N group The response section has two subgroups we have the first decision level and the national level Let's go ahead and create these subgroups before defining our question types So we start here begin group then we have the main group that ends here and group then within this main group we have another group that begins here and ends here then we have the national level group that begins here and ends just before bigger group right let's now move to defining our question types so this will be a date text comments will be a text and then for files to upload files we have the file type of question 
and for signature we will put as image so at this point we are done designing our form now that we are done configuring our questions let's go ahead and test to see how it works so far i will check the settings sheet to ensure i have a title that looks great so i'll save my form and close it i'll now go to kobo start a new project upload form browse to my form click on open as you can see i have my title i'll go ahead and click on create project so kobo says my form is successfully updated I can now preview. So everything looks great. We have our welcome note and we have our different sections. So you can collapse just to check. All the sections are there. Then in the response section, you see the two subgroups. So under the first national level, we see that there is a problem. There are no questions under that. So let's go ahead and check in our form. And you see our question types are not set. So this will be a select one. Yes, no. Yeah, date. Great. Save. I close. Go back to Kobo. and I replace form. Preview my form again. And there we go. We now have questions under this section. Let's now take a quick look at our form. So you can change the language here. And you see your form is now in French. Set it back to English. So as you can see, I can set the age, for example, to minus one and the form will accept. So in our next video, we will see how to prevent this, how to set questions to required, which means you have to fill them before you proceed to the next question and lots more. So stay tuned, guys. Remember to subscribe, comment and share our videos so others can benefit. Remember to stay safe in this COVID time.